Hi everyone and welcome to TA Tech. In this video I will show you 10 different things you need as a Steam Deck Windows user. The first five I will show are hardware based items and the last five will be software tweaks to make your experience ideal. If I show any products in here the link for them will be in the description. Those are all affiliate links and will help the channel. If you don't like what I suggest and you need an alternative please comment below and I will get back to you with other options. Number 10, a Steam Deck dock. You definitely cannot go wrong with having a Steam Deck dock especially as a Windows user. With the new APU drivers released by Valve now you can use multiple displays on your Steam Deck. As a Windows user this is perfect for productivity and gaming. The dock I use now right now is made from Kiwi Home. However, it is not on sale yet. So the next best thing I could recommend is the iVolar dock. You definitely cannot go wrong with this one. I have used it for a few months and it is amazing. Number nine, a portable display. When I travel, I definitely love to use the Steam Deck as my main gaming and working device. I use it for video editing by using applications such as Filmora. It is quite amazing how capable the deck is and how awesome it is to do this with Windows. Currently, I'm using the Arzopa G1 as my portable screen. I have tried other screens, but this one is definitely my favorite. With 144 HZ refresh rate, the very lightweight and the useful kickstand, I am loving it. If you want to maximize your Steam Deck Windows experience, definitely get a portable screen. Number eight, a gaming mouse and keyboard. With those, I never like to go with the expensive options. I found that a cheap gaming mouse and keyboard definitely do the job. I have picked up those from Amazon for 18 pounds and they work great. Do not waste your money on an expensive set. You don't need one. Another option is to go for the foldable keyboard that comes with a trackpad. This is great if you are on the go. It is small and compact and will do the job. However, it will not be the best for gaming. Before we get to number seven, if you have any questions, please consider joining my Twitter Twitter community. It is easier for me to answer your questions than here in the comments. On the Steam Deck Twitter community, I could attach pictures and video replies to show you how to solve issues. Thank you for considering. Let's continue. Number seven, a power bank. With this one, I wanted to get the best of the best in my opinion. This power bank will attach to the back of your deck magnetically. It makes your deck a bit heavier, but it is honestly really cool to have. It will charge your Steam Deck twice and give you a much longer battery life with gaming. The only drawback with some Steam Deck models, it does interrupt the cooling fan. So make sure to check if your Steam Deck is compatible with it. If not, you can just use it without attaching it magnetically. Another drawback of it is you cannot charge it while using it on your deck. Number six, a gaming controller. When docked, you will need a controller to play since your deck will be docked. It is also useful to use it when hooking your Steam Deck to the TV. In my opinion, the standard Xbox controller or the Elite Xbox controller are the best on the market. They work natively with the deck on Windows and they are hands down the most ergonomic controllers to hold. Okay, now we have gone over the accessories you may need. Let's talk about software tweaks. Number five, changing the UMA buffer. When installing Windows, the deck is switched to a 2GB buffer, which impacts the performance quite a bit. So make sure you switch your UMA buffer to 4GB by going into the BIOS menu. From there, you just follow what I do on the screen here, and your deck's UMA buffer should be set to the right amount. You will find that this will improve your performance quite a lot. Number four, changing your virtual memory. Many on Reddit have debated that this may not work or do anything. However, I did a lot of testing and I can tell you for sure that this definitely improves your Steam Deck performance. Doing it is very simple. All you need to do is follow what I do here on the screen. Number three, controller support. So, when installing Windows, your non-Steam games will not recognize your controller natively. Even though your Steam games will work fine without any tweaking, what you need to do is install Handheld Companion. This app will let you play non-Steam games with your Steam built-in controller without any problems. Just make sure to turn Handheld Companion off when you play Steam games. The Handheld Companion will also allow you to tweak some things such your TDP, GPU, clock speeds, and more. This has a lot of features which I have explained in a separate video. You can find it in the description below. Number two, debloating. Both Windows 10 and 11 are bloated systems that are heavy on the CPU. Even when sitting idle, Windows systems seem to use 15% of the CPU sometimes. To combat this, 
you will need to follow a video I made about debloating Windows. Briefly, it is an application you download and it will allow you to remove all the bloatware from your Windows. This strips down all the unnecessary applications making your Windows only use 5% of the CPU when idle. The application is quite simple to use yourself, but if you get confused, I left the link to the guide in the description below. Number one, getting AMD controls. So even though the Steam Deck on Windows comes with full AMD drivers, we do not have access to AMD controls, which have a lot of settings that we could tweak our games with. So to get AMD controls, I have left a download link below. However, since it is not the most straightforward thing to do, I have also included a link to the guide you could follow to install AMD controls on your Steam Deck Windows device. So that is it from me, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I work pretty hard on these, so please consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you in the next one.